Good. Make sure the water level is all the way up. You can kind of check that. Uh, you can pull up on this to see if it's all the way up right now, and then you can uh, kind of bounce it here and make sure the water level is up. Turn on the fuel. Uh, check your oil. I've already checked mine. Make sure your oil level is good. And uh, if you got the electric start, uh, of course it's going to be a little bit easier, but uh, loosen up your throttle here, just let it fall, and then just put a little bit of pressure on it. So you turn, oops, so you turn it on the fuel there. And uh, we'll do electric start, and then I'm going to kill it, and I'll do a crank start for you. Check your, turn your fuel on, check your water, check your fuel levels, check your oil levels. Take your throttle, relax it, push it down just a little bit till you feel some tension there. And we got a compression release valve right here if you want to shoot that. So you're going to hold that down while you're cranking this thing. That relieves the pressure on the cylinder so it's easier to crank. Once you get up to speed, Keep cranking, no? Keep cranking. Okay, we're ready to engage the clutch and start pouring in the mixture. It almost appears as though the mixture is too dry, but it has to be somewhat this dry or it will come out mushy. This is the only way I've got hard glossy pellets is using this dry mixture. Even at that, I've only got 120 pounds per hour using this mixture, uh, putting it in at this speed. Uh, I'm supposed to be able to get up to 400 pounds per hour and haven't achieved that. We have to die up the pressure. We're going to increase the engine speed to maximum. We're going to try to keep that die temperature up there. Have to be real careful how much we put in. We could either stall the engine or stop the rollers from turning or we'll start putting out a mushy pellet. As you can see, they're not coming out too fast. I measured them, uh, I'm coming up with about 120 pounds per hour is about all I'm getting out of this. Okay. I put in this one small pail, and that's what I've gotten out of it so far, that many pellets. They're a nice hard, shiny pellet. You can see they're nice and shiny and real hard. Again, you've got to be very careful how much material you put in at one time or you'll stall the machine or stop the rollers or the die will cool down too fast and you'll start getting softer pellets out of it. It's just a very, very slow process here. Not at all what I expected. Okay, let's disengage the clutch. I'm going to check the temperature on the pellets here. Right around 190 degrees is what they're coming out at. You can see the steam. Uh, we'll start putting in more material here.
very slow though. It just uh, just can't put it in very fast. It, like I said, if you want these pellets to come out like this, nice and hard, you've got to put that in really slow like that. Even though this looks like it's coming out good, this is 120 pounds per hour. That's it. That's it. This is a 22 horsepower diesel engine, and this is the best I can do with this. Disengage the clutch, and we'll shut this baby down. I'll leave a little material in there when you stop and shut it down. And take a look at the pellets that we got. After it stops, uh, we'll turn off the fuel. Turn the gas off. Alright, kill it. Okay, we got it. We're ready Can anytime we you want. Yep. Alright, this is what you're going to be looking for now. It's not just the hardness of a pellet because the hardness is very important but if you can get this glossy this glossy look right here let me don't, zoom. don't even worry about the breaking apart either because they're going to break apart let me zoom in a little bit show, show a handful of those pen. this is probably the best pellet that i've gotten out of this thing so far uh so that's uh, feeding it very slow I'm looking for all this time is this glossy is this glossy right here because if it's glossy I'll guarantee you it's ready to it's it's going to be ready now this still got to be dry even though as hard as these are we take one of these I got these gloves on you want to wear get some uh, good rubber gloves maybe you've got the cloth lining because that really helps uh, from the heat because these are really hot they're probably 190 to 200 degrees now uh, I can't uh, when I first started doing these pellets uh, I was just, I was using some grass that I was sure was plenty dry enough. I mean, it, been, it dried out in the yard for two days and it still just squished right in. I can't even squish this in if I wanted to. And, and I already know it's that hard because of the glossiness of it, because how glossy they are. I already know that. You gotta have that gloss or your pellets are not going to be ready to, uh, for burning. Now these aren't ready for burning yet. I'm going to take these and uh, show you my little drying rack that I built. I'm gonna put these in a drying rack here. Uh, seems to be working okay. And then I uh, made these. Uh, really, they're two separate racks here. Twelve, twelve racks for each one of these things here. And uh, here's some of the pellets that I uh, did first thing. Uh, these were actually ran yesterday. You can see how dull these are. These were actually young, run yesterday. And then I ran them again through today, and I still haven't got them glossy. So I probably will run these tomorrow again very slowly through the machine uh, because I'm not even going to try to burn these. These are just, these are, uh, and now even though they're hard, uh, I can't squish these. They're down now. I could still before I put them on this rack, but uh, they, they're not going to burn. And if they do burn, they're probably just going to go poof, and then they're going to be gone, and I'm not going to get any length to burn at all. So I'll have to I'll have to run these big waste of time, but I'm going to have to run these back through there again. It's just uh, learning learning process here is all there is to it. So so uh, I've already put some of these in here, but these are all the same uh, nice glossy pellets. So I'm going to just put these right on top of these. Some people put just you, should, you see these videos. People just put a little teeny bit on here, but I don't. They're 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 190, and have your gloves on when you're spreading these, and then the heat doesn't even bother you. They're 190 to 200 degrees, so I can feel the warmth here through these gloves, but it's not nowhere near as it burning me. So then I'm gonna just even these out through the whole tray if I can. Being gentle with these now because they'll break real easy. You don't want them all busted and powdered, so. Uh, you can let your auger do that in your stove. So that's it. Okay. Slide them back and maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow.